The long wait is finally over. We now have our first look at the upcoming DLC for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree, and it's looking absolutely massive. The three minute long trailer is packed with terrifying bosses, dazzling magic, and a whole lot that needs unpacking. So let's jump right into it. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. The biggest mystery posed by Elden Ring's main campaign was what happened to Mikola, the twin brother of Melania and a demigod cursed to be a child for eternity. In the main game, Mikola was found in Moog's palace slumbering in a cocoon that was meant to turn him into an adult. During Moog's boss fight, it's implied that Mikola is dead. However, cut lore dialogue reveals that Mikola is just still asleep. Along with the first Shadow of the Earth Tree key art showing Mikola on a spirit steed, it appears the stage is set to uncover the mystery behind this lost family member. The trailer begins with an image of Mikola's cocoon still placed on the altar of Moog's palace. The corpse-like arm of Mikola is stretched out of the cocoon, seemingly showing that Mikola still hasn't been revived from his slumber. In past From Software games, the DLC is usually accessed directly in the game's world, whether by touching a painting or discovering a secret cave. Mikola's cocoon feels like a very likely entryway into the DLC, and sure enough, director Hidetaka Miyazaki confirmed this to be the case in our new interview with him. A voice at the end of the trailer also asks you to touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. The lore indicates that Mikola's soul may be in the land of dreams, so traveling into his mind may be the gateway to this realm of shadow. It all seems to be the perfect setup to access the new DLC areas. Oh, Earth Tree, you shall burn. The Erd Tree is Elden Ring's most striking landmark, a giant golden tree towering over the lands between. The Erd Tree represents the blessing of the Elden Ring, and its glow symbolizes the golden order established by Queen Marika. Depending on which ending of the main campaign players pursue, the Erd Tree can look very different, as it represents the current state of the lands between and its ruler. But there is another great tree in Elden Ring. Technically, several, but we're not going to get lost in the roots on that. The other great tree, one closely associated with Mikola, is the Halik Tree far in the north of the lands between where Melania resides. We have a suspicion that the tree in the trailer could well be the Halig tree. The Erd tree is based in Landa, but that city is not visible in this shot, and the twisted Y shape of the tree more closely resembles the Halig tree, which Mikla tried to grow as a sanctuary away from the Golden Order and the Erd tree. This could explain the DLC's name, Shadow of the Erd tree, perhaps a reference to Mikla's attempts and failure to grow a tree separate from the Erd tree. Whatever the true nature of this tree, it unfortunately appears dead and leaking a golden fluid. It's unclear why the tree is in this state, but we can expect the story of Shadow of the Earth Tree to reveal just why it looks so unhealthy and the major impact of its status. While the Land of Dreams has been referenced in Elden Ring, it might not be an alternate dimension at all, but rather the Lands Between's past. From Software often utilizes time travel in its DLC sending players back in time in the case of Dark Souls' Artorius of the Abyss, as well as the nightmare version of the past in The Old Hunters from Bloodborne. From Software also threw players into the future in Dark Souls 3's The Ring City. If this tendency is true from Elden Ring as well, if the Shadow of the Earth Tree is set in the past, it could explain some additional details that appear later on in the trailer. A quick cut to some new characters, presumably and more importantly some new armor players can potentially find in the DLC. The first is a knight armor vaguely reminiscent of the Carrion knight set, with a cape and some kind of sharp crescent accent on top of the helmet. The next character is also in armor, wearing some kind of Roman legion-like set, but with a face-like helmet with a plume on top. Incidentally, many of the armor sets in Elden Ring that feature a plumed helmet motif belong to enemies who serve a particular demigod, like the Gelmere Knight set belonging to soldiers who serve Rikard, and the Godric Knight set. Could this armor belong to adherents of the mysterious demigod who appears later in the trailer? The final two characters are another knight bent over a clay pot and a mysterious masked figure lying in a dark purple flower field. Of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon. One of the factions in Elden Ring is the Carrion royal family, led by Queen Renala and their magical academy of Raya Lucaria. This new character, seated on a throne in an empty hall, certainly bears similarities with Renala, from their pale face to that extravagant outfit. But if our theory that Shadow of the Earth Tree is set in the past proves correct, then this figure could even be a young Renala herself. 
Elden Ring is ultimately a story about a feud between members of a noble family. Given that nobles love portraits of themselves, players can find paintings of these siblings all across Elden Ring, especially in Volcano Manor where paintings of Rikard and Radan can be found. We can add another portrait to the mix, this time of an old man seated with his hands on his laps and accompanied by a mysterious cloaked woman. Given that portraits in Elden Ring are reserved for noble or other prominent characters, we can assume that they are key figures in the lands between. If the DLC is set before the events of the main game, this would mean that several of the crumbling structures players encounter in the present day timeline of Elden Ring could be assumed to be in better condition in the past. Is this imposing fortress what Fire Missoula looks like before it crumbles? There are similar architectural elements, such as its heavy blockwork punctured by archways, as well as a vortex above pulling the castle upwards, which we know is where Fire Missoula ultimately ends up. <laughs> A second fire giant boss? That's the only explanation after seeing this latest titan appear in the Shadow of the Erd Tree trailer. Players are already familiar with fighting the fire giant, a hulking, massive boss capable of wielding fire. Now it appears we'll have to face some kind of living furnace, which Miyazaki told us is a terrible weapon of war filled with burning corpses. I hope it doesn't throw any of them at us. I don't know what it is, I don't particularly want to find out, but it looks like there will be a brain-sucking enemy in the new Shadow of the Erdtree DLC. An enemy type that follows a rich history of awful creatures like the Mind Flayer and Demon Souls and Brain Sucker and Bloodborne. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft? Of light. If there's a main character in the Shadow of the Erdtree trailer, it's this mysterious long-limbed demigod who Miyazaki confirmed will be called Mesmer. The crimson red hair is a dead giveaway that this character is likely a child of Radagon, but it's a mystery as to whether he's related to Melania and Mikola through Queen Marika, or Radan, Rikard, and Rani through Queen Renala. This character's snake motif makes me believe he's likely related to Rikard, or perhaps even a younger version of the Lord of Blasphemy himself before he fed himself to the Great Serpent. Remember, having multiple names in Elden Ring is not such an uncommon thing, particularly for the demigods and nobles. Miyazaki tells IGN that Mesmer is a key figure in the DLC, and he again has this important element of shadow to him, which is a key theme throughout the DLC as well. The key art features Mesmer on a throne similar to the one demigods sit on at the base of the Erd Tree. Miyazaki says this is to show that Mesmer stands on equal footing to these other demigods and children of Marika who sat around in these thrones and held the rooms of the Erd Tree. Partway through the trailer, we're teased with a variety of new weapons and potential gameplay enhancements, including something that looks like martial arts or some kind of pugilist skill set. There are also large bombs we can throw, as well as a huge repeater crossbow that looks pretty handy if we can get our hands on it. There is also a montage of terrifying looking new enemies, some of whom look like area bosses we can encounter in the wild. The swordswoman in the field could be another jail inhabitant, and there are shots of intimidating boar riders, a scary hippo, and a huge skeleton horseman. Towards the end of the trailer, we see a corpse pull a sword or some kind of fragment out through their skull. Fascinatingly, this character's bones protrude outward, reminiscent of the central section in the Elden Ring room, and the symbol of Queen Marika's Golden Order. While fighting Mesmer, the player character is shown to grow wings and launch a Spear of Light. This appears to be the aspect of the Crucible Wing spell that the enemy Crucible Knights can perform, suggesting that it may finally be something players can cast in the DLC. Dearest Mikola, <sighs> you must abide alone a while. The final shot is surely Mikola himself, considering the character's association with gold hair and pale skin. Whatever it is they're doing, the tree, whether that be the Halic tree, the Erd tree, or some other great tree, seems to be in much better shape than it was at the beginning of the trailer, when it looked quite rotted and sick. Is Mikola perhaps responsible for its restoration? We'll find out when Shadow of the Erd Tree releases on June 21st. For more on Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, check out IGN's ranking of every From Software Soulsborne DLC. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.